Okay, Ruby 2.0 is now official and it's been released. Um, so our coming days, I'll be uh, playing with this on a daily basis and probably I'll use the screencast to uh, record things that I find out. Uh, so today I'm just gonna, uh, right now I'm going to uh, record getting started and uh, one feature that I was looking forward to which is name parameters. Okay, let's get started. The first thing that I need to do is, I, as I always do with, when I install anything, I, I do brew update. Um, and then, uh, in this case, rvm get head. Okay, so uh, just in case, I do uh, rvm uh, reload again. And let's see, uh, so if you look at rvm list known, and there, you see that this just been released. So RVM install Ruby uh, 2.0.0 and this P0. And this will install and will take some time. Okay, it took quite a while, but it uh, installed it. So uh, let me look at the Ruby version here now. Uh, so if you look at it, uh, let's try this one more time. Okay, so uh, use. Uh, let's see if this will work. Okay, so there. Okay, now that I have a Ruby two point. Uh, zero installed. Let's play with a new feature. With, uh, and the first one that I want to test out was a uh, name parameters. Now that's something that actually I even joked about in a previous screencast as somebody who's you know doing Objective C every day, and the fact that the name Rubyhead came from Cocoa Head. Uh, so that's something that actually I was. Uh, although I joked about it, it was something I was looking forward to because uh, parsing through uh, and actually pulling out the values from a hash was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, so this is a, this is a feature that I actually uh, thought it would be nice. So let's actually play with it and test it out uh, now that I have it installed. So I'm, I'm just going to create a named parameters.rb um, and let's see. I'm going to create a method called foo and then uh, with and it will be uh, default. So basically name parameters I'm just specifying the uh, default. Um, value here. So it will be default and but in this case I'll probably name the class that it comes from or whatever uh, that I have. And I'm going to test out the delegate. By default it will be string and uh, selector uh, will be 2s. Uh, just in case you don't know, the selector is basically a method that actually will be uh, invoked. Uh, we call it selector in Objective C. Uh, so I'm just using it here. I know this is a bad joke, but uh, bear with me. Okay, so it'll be it'll have a width value, and let's see. Rather than uh, going to uh, getting the hash and actually putting the key width, I will have to just do width, which is nice. So I'm going to do put uh, delegate, and let's see what delegate class is. So delegate. Uh, class 2s just in case. Uh, and I'm going to put result, which will uh, invoke uh, a method in delegate. So I'm going to put, uh, let's see, bup, 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 mm, uh, in this case, delegate, and I'm going to send the method. Okay. Okay, so. Um, there. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll define a method here. So that will be bar um, and just puts 
hello from bar and let's end this okay so let's call this method um, I'm going to say foo with um, June and it will be delegate will be self right and I'm going to call uh, this bar method and that has to be in string I guess so I uh, think that we need to we will probably expect is uh, with June delegate it will be a I believe this main or object uh, and this and they will invoke uh, our method which will say hello from bar okay so let's run this uh, and we get pr syntax error expected colon expected or and oh check this out okay so you cannot do kind of method uh, call like what we used to do before hmm so if you go back and look at the file okay so apparently a thing that I didn't like about all the other languages we have to put parentheses let's try this time and sure enough it does that okay this is something interesting if you look at this uh, and let's look at the method okay so I'm gonna do name primer if you notice, I said uh, here is it put result and then put the whatever uh, evaluated right. But notice uh, this hello from bar came before uh, result. So basically, execution uh, chain is that it first evaluates this and then uh, executes the rest. So if you look at it, it says puts this gets done and actually this is executed first. Hmm, that's something that we uh, I didn't know before, but I guess uh, just found out just playing with this. So that's interesting. So right now it's a name parameters I uh, covered, and uh, coming days I probably will cover each topics uh, things that I discover uh, one by one. Okay.